list of all your issues, concerns that you wanted to discuss. The question of the election of tax assessors is uh, listed here for you. You have a letter from the county attorney that explains one the history of how we became the only county in the state with elected uh, assessors and also the steps that are necessary uh, or the action necessary by the general assembly if that local act would be repeated. Um, you can see in the last paragraph, next to the last paragraph, um, it was required action by the general assembly and approval by the voters in order to make such a change. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this is, my understanding, this has been a uh, topic of discussion for quite a while about this process. I'd like to say out of 159 counties in the state of Georgia, Lowndes County is the only county that continues to elect the tax assessment. Um, the, um, what I'd like to do is just kind of open it up for some discussion so that everybody will understand the cost of the pros and the cons from that, from that issue and see if it is something that we would want to uh, move forward with and uh, of course it would have to be as early as next year to bring that legislation, this legislation to, to the forefront. Does anybody have any information they'd like to or a comment at this time to kind of get the discussion started. I would like to make back in 1996 when this was on the ballot for approval. There wasn't any information here as to why they just placed it on the ballot. I think the discussion didn't get an understanding that it was something that um, we could be carried forward to place on the ballot for a referendum. Because during that time, I don't think anybody knew what was going on. We just put it on the phone for a referendum. I'll weigh in as I've already, I think, probably weighed in with a few of you, <coughs> excuse me, on this. Um, why, let me ask a question, why is Lowndes County the only one, that, only county that has elected assessors instead of appointed? Is there some precedent there that was said that I don't know about? Because of this reason here, but it was only about the referendum this year was not well, it was initially done, as you see in your notes there, based on... I've read Walter's letter. Well, I think that part of the answer, you know, it would be to try to... Um, to really answer that question, you really have to try to get into the mind of the voters, which I, I don't think anyone could, could effectively do. Um, I think that if... 158 counties in Georgia passed it and Lowndes didn't. I, I do not believe that Lowndes County voters are that much different than than other Georgians. So there's that. So I, I do think that um, you have to start thinking about how well the, the measure was communicated <coughs> to the voters, potentially the tax assessors at the time, to what extent they were either for or against that, and their ability to to you know, speak to one side or the other. So I think it's a lot of factors, but I think what I'm, my primary concern is not why we did not, but rather what we should do moving forward. My, <coughs> here's my concern, is of all the things that people have direct voting power over, it should be electing those who determine their tax uh, value of their property and assess the value. And anytime we take away the right of the people to vote, we're stepping that further away from the democratic process. I know the argument is that it takes politics out if we have a appointed board of assessors, but in any, a lot of ways it can bring politics too. Because if you get to be a good old boy system and trying to put your buddy on there, and, and to me, how could it ever be wrong to let people vote on who determines their uh, tax, uh, taxes? I mean, that, 
that's what I would struggle with. And you're right, we can't read the mind of others. But I, I do think it's, uh, I'd be hard pressed to take away the right of the people to elect their assessors because those people are protected. But if the people vote to do it, then they are saying this is the, the method we want. You know, if the citizens vote to uh, allow them to be appointed, then they spoke. And the point of clarification, I think this is correct on the history. There was a piece of legislation introduced that made these positions elected there was not a referendum held in 1972 to do this. It was a piece of legislation introduced and passed. And later in 1996, there was a referendum held, and that's when it was defeated. So it was not an initial vote saying, we think everybody else is wrong and we're right. It was just whoever was representative at that time. As I understand the history, this is not my personal research. This is what so in 96, there was not a statewide effort to change this. It was a local effort in 96. Okay. Okay. Well, I think the question is, is, as much as elected versus appointed is, what are the, what are the reasons why some see it to be more valid if they're appointed versus more valid if they're elected? What are the requirements? What are the training? What is the history and the background? And that's what you would have to explain to the public is if there's a need to elect versus appoint, why? And you're gonna to have to educate the community on what what the requirements are for an appointed assessor as far as training and, and studies and things like that versus what are they for an elected assessor? And that's what the decision I think would have to be based on is if the public is educated and informed and they determine the requirements here are more universal than the requirements for this side. And that's, to me, what they would base their opinion on. It, it, it's not a good old boy, not good old boy. It's a what was the validity of elected versus appointed. I Serious complaints about the 
way we do it now. I sound like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think there's been some concerns. Um, again, as I said, this is an issue that that was here when when I was elected as chairman, and it's something that I that there's enough interest there in it. I want to move it forward. If there's not enough interest in it, then it's time we pack it up. Uh, but that's that's where we're at with it right now, and that's the reason I'm kind of like more to bring it forward so we can kind of make a decision about what direction we're going to go with it. Well, this might be the best thing here if it's something that's been repeatedly discussed. So, do y'all think then that we could take the time this year to, uh, to, to look at this, take a serious look at it, begin to get some information, mm -hmm. make some contacts with some other counties? to see if we have something here that needs to be addressed or if it's working very well like it is. I think that's really the direction we want to go with. I think it's a great opportunity. And, um, as a person that recently sat in <coughs> class uh, last year because it's mandatory that all commissioners attend the class, uh, I was the only uh, commissioner there that the class didn't apply to. Uh, and, and it's a two-day course. I think it's worth pursuing, Mr. Chairman. I would like to see us um, give it serious consideration and, uh, you know, give everyone a chance to voice their opinion, particularly the current assessors. You know, you don't want to leave them. Obviously, they are the ones that, that are potentially the most affected by it. But I think there are too many, too many positive factors related to appointment for us to ignore it. Well, I'm fine with that. I just wanted to, so what we'll do is we'll just kind of put that on there, uh, over there in our short-term goal column. That is something that we want to work on this year and, and make it a, a definitive decision by the time that we need to make that decision for the legislators and whether or not we're going to move forward. And I'm in favor of us doing that. Um, and I'll go to it with an open mind, though. Uh, I'd be inclined right now to leave it like it is the people to direct those, those who determine their taxes, but but I'm open to uh, well, get the study yeah. and, and selling this thing once for all. I think, well, I, I think a lot of a lot of the process in the next year is going to also be talking to your constituents, your constituents to find out what their position is and get their ideas of what they think it needs to be done. But again, we need the information so that we can give the citizens the proper information so to help them kind of make a decision. Just having said, education is important. Uh, whether whether it's successful or whether it's not, you want to make sure that we've got the best information out there that they have access to it, and that uh, that makes a good education decision. So, well, I, mean, I, I think we need to clarify that the assessors don't create the taxes. No, they just assess the value. That, and and what you're looking for out of uh, an assessment board is just verifying that the assessments are accurate within a, a you know the state's basic. basic minimal range but all you're looking for in assessors is making sure the assessed value of properties are accurate which to me does not link itself to the people thinking the assessors have to you know create the taxes and, that, and that, that's, that's part of the education, education, right. part of the education yeah. process so uh, I, I think that moving forward I, I don't think the question is and maybe this is just parsing um, terms but I don't think that our the question we pose to our constituents over the next year or so is not do you want to change i think for our purposes it is do you think there's enough information to want putting on a ballot because that's the question that's right. do you want to do you want to vote on it because yeah. we don't have the power as a board to change it that's right. but we hopefully can positively influence you know one of our representatives to put it on a you know to to address in the General Assembly if there's enough people that want to vote on it. <laughs> Again, let, let, me, let me remind everybody, these, these items that we're going to be discussing this morning are items that came out of our short-term goals that we've done during the um, work session retreat that we had back in November. So that's the reason why these items are being discussed today. Okay?
We'll move on then. If there's no other discussion on that one.